Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Cauchy Integral Formula. In this session, we are going to deal few problems on Cauchy Integral Formula as well as Cauchy Integral Theorem. Let us recall the definition singular point. Suppose if there is a function f is failed to be analytic at a particular point a. That means if I substitute z equal to a, then the function f fails to be analytic, but it is analytic at some neighborhood of a. Then a is said to be a singular point of f. For example, we will take f of z is equal to 1 by z. This f of z equal to 1 by z is analytic everywhere except the point z equal to 0. When I put z equal to 0, then it becomes undefined. So f of z is not analytic at z equal to 0, but it is analytic at every neighborhood around z equal to 0. Therefore, z equal to 0 is called as a singular point. Hope you understand. Similarly, we can take lot of examples like f of z equal to 1 by z minus 2. Here, z equal to 2 is a singular point. Next, Cauchy integral theorem or Cauchy's fundamental theorem. If f of z is analytic and f dash of z is continuous on and a simple closed curve C, then we can write integral over C the closed curve f of z dz is equal to 0. Next, in future, a great French mathematician Gaussard proved the same Cauchy integral theorem without the condition that f dash of z is continuous. So, he proved that f of z is analytic at all points inside or on a simple closed curve. Then we can say integral over c f of z d z equal to 0. So, throughout this chapter, we are going to use this definition as Cauchy integral theorem. Next, Cauchy integral formula. Suppose the function f of z is analytic inside and on a simple contour c. If there is a point a interior to the curve or the contour which we take such that f of z divided by z minus a is not analytic at a particular point a, then we can write integral over c f of z divided by z minus a dz is equal to 2 pi i into f of a. And very important, a should be any interior point on the contour C or the simple closed curve C. If it is lies on the curve, then this is not true. Next, Cauchy integral formula for its derivatives. As usual, f of z is analytic inside and on a simple closed curve and A is going to be any interior point on C, then I can write that integral over C f of z divided by z minus A whole square dz is 2 pi i into f dash of A. Suppose if you have whole cube, then we can write this as 2 pi i divided by 2 factorial into f double dash of a. Here we can consider 2 pi i divided by 1 factorial. Now you can understand, so in general, integral over c f of z divided by z minus a whole power n plus 1 dz is equal to 2 pi i. Since here we have n plus 1, we get n factorial in the denominator, 2 pi i by n factorial into nth derivative of f at the point a. Hope you understand. Now let us go into a simple problems. We have to identify where we can apply Cauchy integral formula and Cauchy integral theorem. Step 1. First, let us consider the given problem as capital I. Step 2. We have to check the region. Here the region is modulus of z is equal to 1 by 2. So, mod z is equal to r is nothing but a circle with radius r because z is x plus i y. We know that modulus of x plus i y is square root of x square plus y square is equal to r and finally we can write this as x square plus y square is equal to r square. That means this is a circle with center 0, 0 and radius r. So, from this we can see mod z equal to 1 by 2 is a circle with radius 1 by 2 and center 0, 0. Now, we have to visualize the picture. It is very important and it is compulsory to draw the diagram. Just draw the axis. Now, we know the center is 0, 0 and radius is 1 by 2. Just mark few points which is necessary. Next step, we have to find the 
singularities to find the singularities we have to consider the denominator of the given problem and equate it to zero when i equate it to zero i'll get two points z equal to 1 and z equal to 2 but my circle is with radius 1 by 2 but my points are 1 and 2 that means 1 comma 0 2 means 2 comma 0 it lies somewhere outside the circle so z equal to 1 is a singular point but it lies outside c similarly z equal to 2 is a singular point that is also lying outside c step 3 since both points are lying outside c then then my given function f of z that is sin pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 1 into z minus 2 is fully analytic for the given region mod z equal to 1 by 2 there is no singular points very important the singular points are lying outside at this region there is no singular point for f of z so by cauchy integral theorem if f of z is analytic at all the points inside and on a simple closed curve then integral over c f of z dz is equal to 0 so by cauchy integral theorem we conclude the solution for the given problem capital i is 0 hope you understand students next we can see few more examples evaluate integral over c e power z dz at mod z equal to 2 so it is very easy now we can take the given function as f of z and e power z is analytic everywhere there is no singular point then immediately what we can say by cauchy integral theorem if the function f of z is analytic inside and on a simple closed curve then integral over c f of z dz is equal to 0 that is nothing but integral over c e power z dz is equal to 0 we can immediately conclude this similarly evaluate integral over c e power z divided by z minus 3 dz where mod z is equal to 2 here let us take the given problem as f of z the given region is mod z equal to 2 this is nothing but a circle with radius 2 but the singular point given in the problem is z equal to 3 therefore z equal to 3 is a singular point lies outside c this is the only one singular point in the given problem therefore therefore i take the given function as f of z that is e power z divided by z minus 3 now for the given region mod z equal to 2 this function f of z is analytic everywhere it has a singular point but it lies outside c therefore again we can say by cauchy integral theorem integral over c f of z dz is equal to 0 because f of z is analytic everywhere in the given region hope you understand students thanks for watching hope you found this video helpful subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends see you in the next video bye bye